Well, this just in, there are reports tonight that the U.S. and South Korea launched four surface-to-surface -surface missiles into the sea in response to North Korea's missile test yesterday. Now, the reason they did this was following Kim Jong-un's own test, the longest-ever weapons test, and the most provocative show of force in years. In fact, North Korea's ballistic missile flew over Japan. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer reports tonight from Tokyo. In Japanese coastal communities, sirens warned that a North Korean missile would be flying overhead. Public alerts told people to prepare to evacuate. Japanese military tracking systems had picked up the launch near the Chinese border and followed the missile for 22 minutes as it flew a record distance of roughly 2,800 miles and crashed into the sea. It's the latest in a bumper year of 39 missiles launched from North Korea. Analysts believe today's was the huge Hwasong-12 on view in a military parade in April. Its use now marks real escalation. It's the first missile to be aimed over Japanese territory since 2017. In Tokyo and in Washington, the launch was described as reckless and condemned. The launch was a danger to the Japanese people, destabilizing to the region, and a clear violation of the United Nations Security Council resolutions. Within hours came the response. South Korean and U.S. warplanes were in the air just off the Korean peninsula for some precision bombing meant as a deterrent to Pyongyang. Instead, we may be on the verge of a major escalation. Satellite photos show North Korea appears to be preparing for a nuclear test. Nora? All right, Elizabeth Palmer, thank you very much.